Hello! Hey, hey guys! And today on the Corner Queen, it's really random today. I was not planning on making a video at all, and I was not planning on making a story time video either. But I was talking to my sister, and she, we were talking about when I was younger, and she told, she reminded me of this event that happened, and I was like, huh, let me share these to you guys and tell you about the traumatic time I got robbed. It was the best day of my life. I was away from my parents. And pretty much, I was walking in the mall with them, and we were in Queens. So it was my first time out at the mall in Queens, so I was really excited. And since I went over there, I brought like a whole bunch of money. I think I brought like half of my savings. I think I brought um, I think I brought forty dollars. And forty dollars is a lot for like a kid, and that's a lot for right now. So I think I brought forty dollars with me. Luckily, my mom was like, let me see how much money you got, Marissa. Because she knows I always bring more money than I ever need. And she took away $20 from me. So, thanks, Mom. So, I also brought my DS and I brought all my video games because I never, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to play. So, I had all that and it was in like a side slash purse. I like shopping, and my aunt also likes shopping, and, you know, she, I was like a little dress-up doll, so she wanted me to try on a whole bunch of stuff. So, she told me to take my bag off, and put it down on one of the racks. So, I took my bag off, put it on the racks, and I tried on the clothes. And I guess, I forgot to pick up my bag, because I asked her, I asked her if she could hold it for me, and she was like, no. You see, it's her fault. So, she said no. So, I left my, I guess, I accidentally left my bag. And I had food in my bag. Because, you know, I'm a big foodie. I love food. So, even when I was little, I had food in my bag. So, I had food in my bag. You know how when you're about to buy something at the store and you're, like, in the checkout line. And they have, like, all that candy. I was like, oh, I want some candy. And I was like, oh, I have candy in my bag. I'm like looking in my bag and then I'm like, I don't have a bag. Oh, friggin' fragger, I left my bag. So I had to go run all the way upstairs because the checkout was all the way downstairs. And I went back to where I took off my bag and the bag is gone. <sighs> so, like... Like, 10 steps away from where I left my bag, which is, like, at the entrance of the store. Um, there's, like, a security, there's, like, a security department kind of thing. So, I said, just told them how my bag looked, what it looked like, and, you know, they gave me back my bag. I look at my bag, my money's gone, my DS is gone. And it was like a beautiful pink one too. My DS was gone. All my video games is gone. And the only thing they left was my glasses. They were not these glasses. They were like some ugly glasses. But I think that was like, those glasses cost like a hundred and something dollars. And my mom would have beat me up if I lost those glasses. So it's a good thing that I did not lose the glasses. But... It was like, dang, they took everything else and just left my glasses. Like, my if you're going to take everything, just take the whole thing. But, like, I thought it was so funny that, like, they take everything out of the bag and then they just return the bag. Like, if you're going to take everything out of the bag, then just take everything out of the bag. Just take the whole bag. After that, I was crying. I was crying so much. And I had to, sadly, I had to tell my mom that... I lost my bag and I mean that I that everything out of my bag got stolen and still to this day anytime I ever wear that bag to go see my aunt and my cousins they always say teeth teeth bag so they call it the teeth teeth bag so I pretty much 
have this bag in retirement in my closet because I hate going over there and them saying teeth teeth bag. Use this video as a way for you to keep yourself safe from getting robbed because I don't want you to end up like me and get robbed. So here are some tips for you to remember. One, if you, if anything traumatic happens to you, do not, just do not, expect your family to be nice. Just remember your family loves you, but they will never forget that this event happened. Number two, do not leave your bag in a store, please. Like, I really needed a mom. Like, my aunt is not a mom. We needed a mother's touch because moms always know it's like they have this sixth sense and they're like, Where's your bag? I can see your bag getting stolen right now. Like, my aunt did not have that at the time. The last thing to remember is to <gasps> subscribe and like this video. And if you do, then you won't get robbed. But, I really do hope you guys like this video. And tell me in the description box, I put a word that I would like you to write in the comments. And if you write this word in the comments, then you might just see a hair video from me because I actually have been dying to do one. Even if you don't write the word, I'm going to do it anyway. But I just want to see how you guys feel about it. So, do look in the description box for that word. And I will see you next week. This is the end of the video. So, you guys all know my outro. We're going to cut this vid out. Bye.